Welcome, 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 Zap Maggie here, and this time I'm going to be showing you all how to get the Ori randomizer mod and the multiplayer for it working. Now, here's a slight disclaimer. The, the multiplayer mod does not show both players at the same time, but I'll explain how it's multiplayer in a moment. However, the randomizer is really cool. It's fun, and the multiplayer is amazing. I've played it with some people, with Trace, so some other people as well. It's really awesome. So, yeah, let's jump into it. All right, so firstly, the first thing you're going to want to do is head here to the Ori Randomizer. Ori, I'm using Definitive Edition. I'm just going to assume you're all using Definitive Edition because that's the most recent version of Ori. And I'll leave the link to this in the description below so you all will be able to get to it easily. All right, so the first thing you all will want to do is create a seed and to grab the the thingamajig. I, I would just call it a thingamajig. Um, I, I'm not a scientist. I apologize. So firstly, you're going to want to get the seed. So you can choose everything you want. I just I recommend leaving that standard. Um, maybe maybe casual. I don't know. Don't turn on any of these things, and definitely don't do master mode. Don't do master mode. I'm warning you. And um, yeah, just just generate seed and download the seed. This is perfectly safe. I swear. I did not like make this website or anything. <laughs> I'm, I'm just I've used it lots of times and I'll demonstrate it to you then and if you don't trust me then There's lots of people who have used it. So yeah, don't worry. No need to worry I know the feeling of being sus of things being sus. Okay, so um, Now what you're gonna want to do is go to downloads and go to rando DLL and this is gonna basically Allow you it's gonna say usually now keep in mind um a lot of these files, this file in particular, but maybe the seed as well, just these two files, they might ask you to verify them first, like allow it to go in because it might think it's unsafe. Now, you're going to want to go into Steam. Um, I was just playing some Rivals of Aether here with my brother. Um, you're going to want to find Ori and the Blind Forest Definitive Edition. And what you're going to do is right click this where the game is on the sidebar here. And you're going to want to do manage and browse local files. This is going to allow you to, well, view your files and see what to do. Now, I've already put a few seeds in here, but how this is going to work is you're just going to get your most recent seed that you just got. So I'll go ahead and open up this. Um, you're going to get your seed that you just got. It'll probably be in downloads on like around here. So see randomizer four. So how this is going to work is is what which one is named right, right? So this is the current seed that we're using because it says randomizer dot dat or dat. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag your new seed in here, and this is not going to currently work because of the name. So what you're going to have to do is rename this. So this would be my master mode seed I've been playing um, on the channel. If you want to watch our streams or watch our videos, check us out. And um, this new seed, we're just going to rename to randomizer dot dat, D-A-T. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go in. So now you have the seed working. But assuming this is your first time doing this, the seed isn't going to work by itself. So what you're going to want to do is go into, you're going to want to go into Dory D-E data, data. It's going to be right there and then just manage. This isn't as complicating as you think. It, don't worry, you'll get used to it once you do it more. Uh, it took me a bit first time, but it's not that bad. Then you're going to want to find, you'll see that you already have one of these, the assembly C sharp dot D L L. And what this means is this is the game's main, see, the, so when you first do it, when you first do it, you'll just have one, one of these C sharp things, assembly C sharps. And that is the game's code, or I don't fully understand, but it's the game. And what you're going to do is you're going to drag your new one in. So before you do that, you want to rename your last one to whatever. So I'll just call this rando, right? And then, except in this case, you would rename it to game because you have not yet, um, you have not yet done the game yet so now uh where is it ah oh here assembly shoot c sharp and remember the name of the game here is the name of the file the name of the game is the name of the file it has to be the right name so just make sure 
whichever one space class is going to work is whichever one is called assembly c, c sharp dot dll is going to be recognized and used so this is the rando this is the base game this is the bug and this is an example so i'm just gonna so now to switch between your game so here's the game again the base game is you're gonna you're gonna do assembly c sharp and then you're just gonna put in um like whatever you want to example and then rename this one back to this and now you have your main game back in place okay now basically what you're gonna want to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and switch it back to the randomizer though to an, another randomizer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name it assembly C sharp. Um, what was this? This was game. So I'm gonna switch it back out and then I'm gonna use rando. You always want to have one of these working though because if we don't have one of these working, then the whole game's just gonna not work. So we have a rando on now. Let me go ahead and demonstrate and then I'll show you the next step, which is how to get. Okay, it's a bonus step if you want to play with other people. And I'll explain that in a minute, how that works. So the first thing you're going to do to make sure this is working is make sure that you have way too many save slots. That's how I like to think of it. Um, just way too many. You usually have like, I think, 10. But if you have like all these extra bonus ones, that means you're using the right one um, because the randomizer gives you that specific trait. So now what you want to do as a second step to make sure not only the randomizer is working, but the seed is, it'll say up there in the message that it's working. And the final thing is that you're just going to want to grab the very first item. If it's anything other than 15 experience, then that means that it's it's working because it's going to be randomized. See, so right off the bat, we got wind restored from that, which literally makes no sense. And it's going to make the game wacky and weird. Now, of course, something like that, it only enhances our experience because it's something that it's not a key item. But yeah, eventually the game gets really different and fun. Alrighty, so now I'm going to show you how to get multiplayer working. So what you're going to do... Oh man, I haven't done this in ages. You want to go to multiplayer options. Uh, I don't... I've never played with the... I don't think there are other settings. Then however many players you want. I, I, what's the max? I don't know what the max is, but I, I've only played with up to four, I think. So just do two. Set your options. You'll probably just want to default and generate the new seed. Now, as long now you clarify with your friends who's downloading which seed. So you one of you downloads player one and one of you downloads player two. And then when you each have those seeds enabled, right? So you would you would download those seeds, you each have one, and then you go into here and you get um you, you rename it so that this seed, so like you would rename that and that and that kind of thing. So, and I do want to, I do want to, I do want to, um, I think this is example. So, we'll, I want to go back to master, I think. Yeah, all right. So, that's pretty much how you get it set up. Um, if you do need any help, I'm on Discord. I'll leave the link to my Discord server, and I, I, I tried to make this as clear as possible, but it is kind of confusing, to be honest. Uh, explaining it and stuff. It, it, if, if you do need extra help, the best way to ask me is to let me know in the Discord. So I'll link my Discord cha channel in the comments below, and then you'll be able to contact me. Or if you're even in, like, uh, Kavira Club or the Ori server, then you'll be able to contact me that way if you just search me up in there. Um, so, if, 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 yeah, maybe... Check out the channel. Um, so if there's anything you like, we do a lot of worry content. I'm hoping to do some Undertale soon, some more Undertale, Arrivals of Aether, all sorts of fun stuff. So, yeah, see you guys, and now fade out of existence.